here is a really quick way I'm going to make the core base of my spiders with popsicle sticks. Alright, this is how it came out. Nice, sturdy piece to make our base out of. What I'm going to do is make a little bit more of a foresty look. Okay, you know, <clears throat> uh, this is where I'm at so far. I've coated the wooden base and some texture paste after gluing on the foliage, the, the greenery. And how I got the greenery on there was that I took a wooden base like this and I took some beads, some cheap plastic beads, and I used craft goop to put the beads on. And the reason the beads are there is because when I use the craft goop to glue down the green, green, green grass, it holds it in place. After those are dry, I mixed up some texture paste, painted it on, and this is where we're at currently. Just waiting for this to dry. Then to paint it up and flock it. After which, we're gonna work on our spiders some more. Well, my previous spiders were simply a dollar store spider bought in a package of spiders, you know, about 12 of them for a dollar. And I just made the bases myself and I paid uh, attention to the detail on my bases to bring life to the spider and I just sort of glued it on in a lunging position to make the spider seem like they have some sort of life. Because those little spider toys are flat, devoid of life, devoid of motion. Simple, cheap little dollar store spiders. So I did what I could to make them look a little bit better. And then comes Jacob Norman. And he makes he makes his actual own spider. He makes it from scratch. And it's a beautiful thing. Loved it. So I was like, I, I have to make those spiders. And thanks to him, I now have spiders that are 100% made by these hands. In my version of how I did his spider, I didn't use any ping foam. And I have ping foam, I carve mountains and stuff, but not every crafter has ping foam. And um, from what I've seen online, not every area is ping foam readily available. You can't just, you know, drive out to your, lo your local hardware store and be like, yo, let me get a sheet of ping foam and be done with it. So, I use something else. And uh, that's this stuff. Tin foil. All you basically do is you roll up two balls of tin foil and put them together. And that's it. Same way how Jacob Norman, he carved his pink foam to create his shapes. You just roll up, squish, and pinch your tin foil. And that's how you get your shapes for your spider's uh, body. You put those together, the legs are the exact same thing, broken up toothpick Scotty style, you know, reinforced by some PVA. The eyes are also different than Jacob Norman's eyes because he had he happened to have some some jewels that he glued on for the eyes. And though they look amazing, I didn't have any jewels. Um, I don't know how easy or hard those jewels are for everyone else to get so I decided to go with something a little bit easier um, air dry clay now you can make as big or as little of, of an eye as you want with air dry clay it's simply you take some clay you roll it up into a tiny little ball and you put it to the side and let it dry it's the same way I did the eggs on the armored spider was that I simply took some air dry clay I rolled up a shape, set it to the side, and let it dry. And that's how I make the eyes. That's basically the only difference between his spider and mine. Now, if you look at the armored spider, this little bad girl right here, I, um, I crafted some armored plates. And what I did was I took a Martha Stewart die cutter. 
for paper crafts. I punched out the pattern and I kept the scraps because the scraps, the, the negative space in that die cut pattern had a few very nice shapes. I took some of the raw shapes and I altered some of the other shapes simply with a pair of scissors because I use paper and I glued on what now looks to be armor plating. Painted it up some metallic purple, sort of reinforced that sort of armored look. Painted the body lavender, some gold and yellow accents on it, gold eyes, yellow accents. The trick to making these spiders, I think, is how you break your toothpicks and how you position them within the spider's bodies. These are textures I don't quite want on my spider right now, so I coated it in PVA to leave a more smoother texture. Come on, Craft Good, you can exit the chamber. <laughs>